As we continue to talk about equality and opportunity, we wanted to highlight some of the work being done by former Wimbledon finalist and world number 11, Mal Washington. Mal, tell us a little bit about your foundation and the work you're doing in your community. It's the Mal Washington Youth Foundation. We started it back uh, in the early 90s. It was just me and my dad, and, and uh, it was a way to, uh, you know, just give back to the sport of tennis. Pretty, you know, quite often, I'd be at tournaments and someone would, you know, go up to my dad and say, you know, hey, would Mal be interested in coming talking to some of our kids? I would do that. And then that morphed into, you know, just making small donations to a small organizations, you know, so they could buy some balls and rackets. And then my dad and I were talking, we said, you know, why don't we start our own foundation? But it wasn't until uh, 1997, you know, I was talking to a good friend of mine, my current and still uh, executive director, Terry Florio. And I said, you know, we have this organization on paper. We don't really do anything. We don't have any programs. Do you have any suggestions? And from that conversation, uh, within 12 months, we were, we were really focusing on Jacksonville, partnering with the Boys and Girls Clubs, introducing kids to the sport of tennis, um, just trying to keep a group of kids on track through the sport of tennis. And now here we are, you know, 24 years later, um, having served um, over 20,000 kids in some capacity. And we're, we're under construction on a teen center right now that will be um, dedicating and opening up in uh, literally less than two months. That's amazing. Tell the fans out there sort of what you think the sport of tennis brings to today's youth and what, what do you see it doing for them? Well, so for me, I, I look at all the things uh, I got from the sport of tennis. I mean, it, it has taught me so much and literally to this day, I'm still reaping the benefits of the sport of tennis. But early on, it was just introducing kids to the sport in hopes that they could get what I got. The value of hard work and sportsmanship and, and teamwork and literally going to the inner city of Jacksonville and introducing kids to something that they'd never um, otherwise be exposed to. We have a lot of kids who have just grown to really enjoy the sport. They love the, the sport, they compete. We love to put them in these different atmospheres um, so they can grow. And, and that's what we've seen for 24 years. Can you kind of uh, point to a couple like examples where where you know you really feel like you've impacted uh, you know someone's life in a big way, or trying to see the transformation. Having these students go go on to college, um, we've had you know uh, real estate agents come come out of our uh, our program. We have a local chef who's come out of our program. So th we try to make our programs real world, um, and kids who come out they're better prepared than they would have been otherwise. Kids go straight from after school to uh, the foundation, and we're a program in that three to six time frame, which is those crucial hours. There's so many hours. There are literally millions of kids who, let's say they're not involved in organized sports, and they go home in that critical period, a lot of kids are just hanging out. If you poll our kids and they say, oh, what, what do you do if you didn't have this program, would you go home and do your homework? No, they wouldn't do their homework, because oftentimes, yeah. Yeah. honestly, yeah. Bethany oftentimes, you know, a parent isn't at home pushing them to do their homework. So, you know, that's the, that's our in-school program. And, and Mal, I'm curious, what lessons do you try to bring them from from your career as a tennis player or just like, what do you try to pass on to them when you mentor these, these kids? I try to lead by example. You know, there, there are certain things that we don't allow in the building, sunglasses, gum, hats on. So that starts for me all the way down, you know, through all of our staff. So I lead by example and I try to conduct myself, whether I'm at the site or just in, you know, at home or in the community in a way that represents me, my family, and the foundation in a, in a very good way. But I, I think, I, I like to say that their success, and I tell them your success and your level of education are directly correlated. If you have education and you're willing to work hard, I will take those two things any day of the week. Um, I mean, anyone who knows me in tennis knows me from, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. If they, if they wanted to know a guy who was willing to put in the work, I wasn't the most talented player in the world, but if you wanted someone who was going to put in the work, it was, it was going to be me. I didn't mind working and it served me well. So I know those are things, those two things, the importance of education and, uh, and working hard and honestly, just contribute to, to society in a, in a positive way. Isn't, isn't that what we want for all adults and all kids? Just someone who's going to contribute positively to the community. Very cool. And what, what is the, what's the blue sky with your foundation? Like, what is your big goal with it? I'm all about longevity and we want to be a staple in the community. We've been here for, for 24 years in Jacksonville 
And I'd like to think that long after I'm gone and long after our current executive director and our board members are gone and some of our current students are like, are my age now, <laughs> I'd like to think that the, the foundation is still striving. That, that is, that's my, that's my goal is to, you know, uh, cool. a generation, two generations from now, have people say something happened back in 2019 or 2020 in our family that changed the direction that our family was going. Literally today, we can go up to a kid and encourage them. Um, and I say this to kids all the time. I was like, I don't know what it is about you, but I think someday I'm going to be voting for you. I mean, you, you have just something about you that you're, you're going to be running for office. You're going to be governor or something. And I want that to stick in their head. I want them to say, mm -hmm. you know, wow, Mr. Mao thinks I can, wow, I can be a governor. Mr. Mao yeah. thinks I can be mayor. So that's what I want them to, to, to go away with, something positive like that. If you're changing the lives of a few kids locally, it's it's just as important as if you had this platform talking to a million people. And I think, you know, the more of us that can sort of see things that way, it's just, it's this quality. It's just, if you can impact one person that day and make a difference, like who are we to say that that's not as good as impacting hundreds of thousands? Some people have the bigger platform, but some people don't. And I think both are just as important, both in our community, in the country and, and covering the world. Bethany, I describe it like this. Imagine you're, you're running a race. You know, the starting line is the day you were born and the 100 yards, uh, and it's a 100-yard race, and, you know, that, that's the day you die. You know what? Some people, because of where they are, who they are, or, or where they were born and the family they were born into, you know what? They're starting on the 20-yard line. They have so many advantages. And honestly, some of the kids that we're serving, you'd be amazed at some of the tragic stories. They're starting at the negative 20-yard line. And so if we can provide them with opportunities um, that help level the playing field and then their own motivation and hard work kicks in, guess what? They can make up the difference. And we have so much to reach out into the community that if they take advantage of us, you know, they're going to have so many opportunities put in front of them. Mal, that, this awesome. has been really awesome. I yeah. really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. And and seriously, like you are a role model for me. I, I seriously might have to give you a call for some of my pep talks when I'm feeling down. Like I can feel your energy. I can feel your passion and really, really do appreciate it. So thank you for sharing all this with us today. You guys are doing a really good job with the show. I appreciate you guys willing to have me on yeah. and uh, let me talk about what we're doing in the community. Thanks so much. Take care, guys. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Mal. Mal. Take care.